Good morning. It's uh, March 11th, which means that it's Jordan's birthday. Uh, Jordan, I love you very much. I'm very proud of you. Happy birthday to you. Uh, I know you've had some unique gifts and some unique struggles and challenges in your life. And I'm proud of you for all of the things that you've had to overcome and deal with. Um, and uh, just uh, when I think about you, I think about courage and strength to face a lot of adversity and um, and to work hard to try to overcome some of those things. So I'm proud of you, and I um, can't wait to see what the Lord has in store for you for the rest of your life, too. So March 11th, we come to, I think, an interesting kind of um, combination of some things. Psalm 54 is the the last thing, well, second to last thing before the Proverbs thing here. And um, it says, Save me, O God, by your name. Vindicate me by your might. Hear my prayer, O God. Listen to the words of my mouth. Arrogant foes are attacking me. Ruthless people are, people are trying to kill me. People without regard for God. Surely God is my help. The Lord is the one who sustains me. Let evil recoil on those who slander me, and your faithfulness destroy them. I will sacrifice a free will offering to you. I will praise your name, Lord, for it is good. You have delivered me from my, all my troubles, and my eyes have looked in triumph on my foes. Interesting to have that right on the heels of the crucifixion narrative here at the end of Mark. And um, most of these words would be very true for Jesus on the cross, um, except he doesn't wish for evil to recoil on those who slander him. And I, I think about even the things that are said to him while he's on the cross, a lot of misunderstanding, a lot of um, insults being hurled at him. And those had to be at least as painful as what he's experiencing, the rejection, the misunderstanding when um, he would have longed for nothing more than people to have the correct understanding and come to salvation. And so the free will offering that is sacrificed is actually him himself there. Uh, and you have delivered me from all my troubles and my eyes have looked on uh, in triumph on my foes. I think with rather than triumph, he's thinking about compassion and mercy, um, even for those he is dying for there. So um, Psalm 54, so close. Um, also, you know, on the heels of the sacrifices, just after that, in, or just before that, and we we're, were talking about in numbers or reading about in numbers here, uh, all the sacrifices that are piled up there, talking about unintentional sins and intentional sins, and Jesus' uh, sacrifice was sufficient for all of those, intentional or unintentional. Um, I had somebody uh, this week write me an email and ask me about uh, a friend of theirs who is um, uh, habitually sinning and believes that Jesus um, is obligated in some sense to forgive him. He said, uh, he says, I can keep on doing these things, and as long as I confess, then Jesus will forgive me. But those un or those intentional sins, those high-handed sins, are dangerous, and uh, that's what uh, Numbers talks about. And I, I think it's good that there are provisions for uh, sacrifices for those things, except that it does say that um, those who sin intentionally, uh, high-handedly in that regard, are um, I have no expectation of any sacrifice being um, sufficient to cover that. Um, I know we all struggle with sin. I know that none of us is perfect and sometimes even willful sin, but uh, it's a heart that would follow after God and re, uh, repent of those sins and be done with those things, abhor those sins, um, not want to go back to those things. That's the heart that God um, uh, that sees and, and, and embraces. So um, why would you sin intentionally knowing what Jesus had to pay for that sin? How could you look him in the eyes and say, I choose this sin over you, um, that I would put you to death for this sin of mine because I love it so much and I would reject you? I think that's irrational, obviously, and um, anyone who really is a Christian will love him enough to keep his commandments, as Jesus says. So um, I know we don't do that perfectly. I'm not claiming that I do either, but... Um, but there's a desire in our hearts to do it that way. So that's it for March 11th.